A woman who fought for her father's honor. Her dad died in Vietnam, received a Purple Heart, but was never buried in Arlington National Cemetery. We told you that story about two years ago, and today Jessica Clark caught up with her to see what she's doing now that her father is out of an overgrown graveyard and now in Arlington National Cemetery. As the daughter of a soldier who was killed in action, Veterans Day, Memorial Day is every day for me. Lamonda Williams and her mother know the price of war. Her father, Lamar Williams, died in Vietnam while serving in the U.S. Army. She was only 11 months old when he died. He received a Purple Heart and could have been buried at Arlington National Cemetery, but because of a technicality, he wasn't. Instead, in the 70s, Lamar Williams was buried in the Woodlawn Cemetery in St. Augustine, a cemetery for black people at the time, a place that decades later was overgrown and forgotten. But LaMonda Williams had not forgotten. She fought through bureaucratic red tape for a year and a half and finally saw her father's body reburied in Arlington National Cemetery in 2019. And now? And I go on a consistent, regular basis. I FaceTime my mom, I FaceTime my aunt, you know, so they can be there virtually. Thursday, she came from New Jersey to be at the Veterans Day ceremony in St. Johns County. It was important for me to be here today to represent my father and to meet Bill Dudley and to meet John Leslie in person. They've been big, big advocates of, of my father. And she is also trying to help others. If they find themselves in the same situation, that there is hope and there is an opportunity for your loved one to receive what they are rightfully due. After For Williams, every day is a day to honor veterans. I remember my father all of the time. Knowing he is in a place of honor and one she can feel comfortable visiting brings peace. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.